Next, we see we got a fire up passing, and I need to hit this drop. Cream, get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> the, the Dodgers truly seem to have an endless amount of money, but in Yamamoto, I think the, the uh, keen baseball fan has an idea, but maybe a lot of our viewers don't know. What are the Dodgers getting in this picture? The Dodgers, Scott, are getting a an anomaly. Uh, you know, Yoshinobu Yamamoto is five foot ten and 176 pounds and throws right-handed. And generally, when you have those physical characteristics, you're talking about a guy who sort of nibbles on the edges. No, Yamamoto is a power pitcher in the making of Pedro Martinez and Tim Lincecum and other small guys who know how to impart power on the baseball. And, you know, he doesn't lift weights. He, he throws around mini soccer balls and mini javelins and does stretching and yoga and breathing. But he has somehow figured out how to perfect his body to throw a baseball at exceptional speeds up to 99 miles per hour with a split finger fastball that is otherworldly and a curveball that drops five and a half feet. So what the Dodgers have gotten, quite simply, is probably one of the 10 best pitchers in the world. And it costs them $325 million to do it. But that is $325 in an offseason where they've already spent $700 million on Shohei Otani and another $136 million on Tyler Glasnow. This is the Dodgers, Scott, assembling the Avengers and putting together the super team they hope to end all super teams in Los Angeles. You still got to win a short series in the fall. And as you and I have discussed every single <laughs> offseason, that's a bit, a bit of a crapshoot. And I mean, I, I hesitate to ask, is he worth it? Because how do we define that? I think ultimately this team has to win. I'm just right. interested in, in how, like, at what point are they done? Is this it? I think for now this is probably it. But, you know, why stop here? You've already got a number of players who look at this market right now and say, if the money's going to be languishing behind for like the second, third, fourth tier guys, why wouldn't we just take a shorter term deal and go to Los Angeles and try to win a championship with the greatest player we've ever seen in Otani? And now you add Yamamoto to that along with Glasnow. And oh, by the way, you get to play with Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman and Will Smith and Max Muncy and Walker Bueller, and we can go on and on and on sure. about just how good this Dodgers team could be. And I think if there are additions, they're not going to be of the major variety necessarily. It's going to be someone on a one- or two-year deal who just wants to be part of this party. It's going to be happening at Dodger Stadium this summer. Are they paying this guy this year, or is it, or is it when I'm 100? And why are they allowed to do that? <laughs> No, uh, there are no deferrals in this contract. In fact, okay. uh, there is a $50 million signing bonus. And on top of that, Scott, you know, we look at the $325 million, which beats Garrett Cole's nine-year $324 million for the most ever given to a pitcher in total value. But on top of that, there's a posting fee that they're going to have to pay to the Oryx Buffaloes, Yamamoto's Japanese club. That's going to be more than $50 million. So in total, for the 12 years that they have Yamamoto under contract, they're going to be paying $375 million. And when you tack that on to the, the $850 they've spent on Otani, Glasnow, and Jason Hayward, I mean, this is an offseason unlike anything we've ever seen. Wildly exciting if you're a Dodger fan in December, but uh, they're, they're hoping it's the same in October. Jeff, as always, appreciate the time. Be well. Pleasure's mine, Scott. Thanks.